Hello again, this is Tim at Bolin Technology, and I have another video in our Dante AV series. I'm particularly excited about this video because I get to talk about our D20 transceiver series. These are beautiful units, and I can hardly wait to show them to you, so let's get right to it. Well, first things first, I want to show you this beautiful unit. This is our D20 series transceiver. It's a transceiver, so that means it can be an encoder or it can be a decoder. This is the front of the unit, and here we have the USB 1 and 2. Now these are HID inputs, so they're designed for a keyboard or a mouse. Right next to them is USB OTG, or on the go, and that's on the receiving end of the keyboard and mouse input. Here we have infrared, or IR, input and output. Right next to that, we have an RS 422 serial port. So this is for sending RS-422 serial communication across the network. These are a series of lights and of course the on and off button. Here's the back of the unit and you'll notice we have two RJ45 ports. Now we've colored them yellow because both of those participate on the Dante AV network. The first one also receives PoE++ power from our switch. So when you're powering the transceiver from your switch, you use this port. Now right next to those is our HDMI out. Notice underneath that is the word decoder. So when the D20 is a decoder, this is your HDMI out port. Next to it is HDMI in and monitor out or loop out, and you'll notice encoder right up underneath those. So when the D20 is an encoder, then obviously you've got your HDMI input from your video source and your monitor out. And I don't want to forget the last thing, which is this slot right here. That is for an SDI card. So our D20S has an SDI card in, which is for sending 12G SDI video output. So once again, this is the D20 series transceiver. Now, let me show you a handy diagram to explain what we have going on today. Now, there's a lot in this diagram, but let me just break it down to three simple parts. First, the heartbeat of a Dante AV network, and that is our PoE++ managed switch. In this case, it's a Netgear M4250. And if a network has a heartbeat, then it also needs a heart monitor, and that's Dante controller right down there at the bottom. On the left-hand side, we have what I'll call our encode side. So this is where your primary video sources are, and they can be any number of things. We've depicted three of them there, but that is your video being encoded by our D20 transceiver as an encoder and put onto the switch. Now, this is another great time for me to remind you about the transceiver and encoder and decoder. Remember, it is a transceiver, but it is an encoder or it is a decoder. It won't be both at the same time, but no worries. You can change it from being an encoder to a decoder and the other way around by a simple firmware upgrade. I'm gonna do another video to show you exactly how this is done. So just remember that our D20 transceiver is going to be either an encoder or a decoder, but not both at the same time. Okay, back to our diagram. Let's look on the right-hand side, and this is what we'll call our decode side. So once the video has been ingested, encoded, and transmitted across the Dante AV network, it's then received by our decoder and sent out via HDMI to any number of endpoints. We have a monitor there, a projector, a very large screen. Any compatible endpoint will work. Notice too, we've got a, an IR and a keyboard, but I wanna point out one important thing, and that is right up at the upper left-hand corner. Dante existing audio over IP systems, any of them, more than 3,000 at the time of this recording, will work beautifully with our Dante AV transceivers. Our transceivers are compatible with all existing Dante audio gear. And that's important for you to remember. Lastly, I want to point out that all of those HDMI streams, in addition to the video, can carry up to eight channels of embedded Dante audio, which, of course, can come from any of your Dante audio sources on the same network. Okay, now for the fun stuff. 
Here before me is a real world example of most of what was in that diagram I just showed you. We have a PC running Dante controller sitting right on top of a Blu-ray player. Now next to it is a D20 encoder and it is sending HDMI out to this monitor through loop through. Now you'll notice there's no image here and there's a reason for that. We're gonna to get to it in just a minute. This monitor is behind our D20 set to decode, or it is a decoder, excuse me. Its HDMI output is going to this screen, and you'll notice there is an image here. And then to my left is a D20S decoder sending SDI out. Now, I mentioned there is no image here and no image here. Why is that? It's because we are sending this output HDCP, or High Bandwidth Digital Content Protection. That, of course, means that any HDCP stream will not be decoded in the loop throughout. It doesn't support HDCP, nor does SDI. So this is actually working exactly as it should. The HDCP content is being correctly decoded by our D20 decoder and sent out to this monitor. So once again, this monitor on HDMI loop out doesn't support HDCP, neither does SDI. So this content is being displayed exactly as it should. Now, obviously that may not always be the ideal situation. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take the mouse, and just as a reminder, this mouse control is actually being sent across the Dante AV network to this host PC, and I'm gonna change the HDCP version from auto to no HDCP. I'll save that, and then you will get to see in real time exactly how Dante AV renegotiates this signal. And as you can see, my input or output is now live on the loop through monitor and live on SDI. And that is exactly how it should be. So again, we've taken the content from our PC, told Dante controller not to send HDCP. And so we have an output here and an output here but that's a static screen. It'd be a whole lot more fun for you to be able to see a movie. So let me show you that. Live content playing through all three of these screens. And I want you to notice the synchronization across them. You have the loop out and you have the two decoded screens. And notice these two decoded screens are perfectly in sync. So live motion content, rich media from a PC, transmitted across the Dante AV network and displayed loop out and at your endpoints and in perfect synchronization. It's fine to show you content playing from a PC as we just did, but what happens if I swap the HDMI input from the PC to that Blu-ray player? Well, you're about to find out in real time. So I'm going to remove the HDMI cable from the PC, and I'm going to insert the HDMI cable coming out of the Blu-ray player, and you're gonna see in real time exactly what happens. Dante controller is, remember, set to no HDCP. And so what do you see? Absolutely nothing. And that's exactly correct. HDCP is fully licensed, which means it works the Blu-ray disc playing is HDCP. So it means we're not gonna get loop out. We're not even gonna get a decode from the decoder because HDCP is set to off. And of course the same is true for SDI. What do we do? Well, all I have to do is go back to Dante Controller and tell it to use HDCP. And you'll watch in real time exactly what happens. It's a valid HDCP, sig HDCP signal. Now it's gonna be decoded and negotiated across the network from the Blu-ray player to the encoder, back there it is, from the decoder to this screen. Now again, you may be wondering, well, why just one? But I think you already know. HDMI loop out does not support HDCP, neither does SDI. So what we're demonstrating here is HDCP content being displayed exactly as it should be across the Dante AV network. Well, that was a whole lot of stuff to show you in one video, but it's been a whole lot of fun. Thank you as always for your time and for watching. 
There are many, many, many more things we want to show you and demonstrate for you in upcoming videos. So please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and turning on notifications so you know when that new content is live. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.